Yesterday, Chris was praised for his steak dish in the invention test, and today he excelled in the pro kitchen. Can his two-course Thai menu make it three in a row? What is it, Chris? It's called Mahor. Imagine a piece of pineapple with a paste on top, a leaf of coriander, and then a blade of uh, chilli on the top. And then the other dish you've got, Chris, is? is... a green curry. Ooh! Obviously, you've got lots to do. I'm really stretching myself, but I just thought, if I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out doing as much as I can. Chris, what sort of attitude is that, if I'm going to go out? I want to go down in flames if I go down. What, 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 about, what about not going down? What about yeah. staying up? i tell you what, if he gets it right, it'll be absolutely delicious. I'm just wondering if that first course is enough to be like a starter, or is it actually a canapé? Yesterday, property developer James was criticised for his flavour combinations. Will he get them right today with his two courses? Tell us what you're cooking for us. I'm doing um, a grilled mackerel with a gooseberry mustard sauce and a celeriac and radish salad. And your main course? The main course, I've got duck, duck roasted potatoes and braised baby fennel. James, there's quite a lot of complex flavours going on here. They are big, they are brash. You've got to have a deft hand. Magic hands. And the flavours, I hope, will stand up on their own, but melded together should stand up a little bit better. James, you're this far in the competition. Yes. Can you see yourself raising that cup above your head? I think I've got enough raw ability. And hopefully, if you see something in that, I'm, I'm sure I'd make you proud. I'm actually beginning to believe in you. Traditional British cook James has made a starter of mackerel on a celeriac and horseradish salad with a mustard and gooseberry sauce followed by roasted duck with seasonal vegetables and plum gravy. Firstly, I get the crunch and the freshness of that celery out with the radish, the taste of the mackerel coming in. I think it tastes really good. Thank the you. issue, of course, is going to be that by the time we hit the second mouthful, it's we've got gone. no fish left and we're going to end up with a whole plate full of radish, celery and gooseberries. I like your flavour combinations but you've got to get a sense of proportion. Yeah. From mackerel to our duck. I think, actually, it's quite delicious. I really like it. Subtle fennel, rich duck, nice potatoes, a very, very subtle sauce. Thank you. I would like my duck to be slightly softer, but I think your flavour combination is absolutely stunning. Thank you. I think you... I have a very, very good palate. Chris's hopes of a quarter-final place rest on his starter of mahor, pineapple served with minced pork and a chicken and prawn paste, followed by a chicken Thai green curry. Chris? Confident? Um, of course not. <laughs> I think it's a very, very brave man who comes in here and does a starter that looks like that. Simple in appearance. I love the richness and the deepness of that shrimp. I like the crunch that comes with the peanuts. All I want to do is eat the rest of it. Great. It's flushing with tropical pineapple juice, and then that salty, fishy mix is, is heady. It's delightful. You start off and it's very sweet and it's coconut and then bit by bit, like a deadly assassin, the chilli comes just creeping into your palate and it gets hotter and hotter and hotter. I think it's delightful. Thank you. You start off with that rice and the sauce and the sweet chicken, which is beautiful and soft, and then you're just left with that lovely flush of hot chilli. Um, I like it a lot. Thank you. Do you feel a little bit more confident about your cooking now? Yeah, a lot, a lot more confident. Maybe I need to stop being so hard on myself. I don't know. We have made our decision. And our winner, our quarter-finalist, is Chris.